he yesterday on April 11th, 2023, announced that he was calling for an investigation, a federal investigation into the contract between the National Park Service and rec.gov. He has further asked that officials in Glacier National Park abandoned the reservation system for 2023, which will be instituted here in the coming weeks. All right, gang. Well, welcome back to Park Junkie. Todd C. coming at you on a beautiful afternoon over here in Northern Virginia, just outside the Capitol. Just coming to you with an update. Some great information coming out in the past week. We had two big articles come out, one from National Geographic and the other from the Wall Street Journal, both looking into the issue of public land access and the reservation systems that are required to enter many of our nation's national parks and public lands. That National Geographic article just went into detailing the the difficulties that people are, are, are experiencing when obtaining access to their public lands and the Wall Street Journal article looking into the corporate ownership of that rec.gov system, the corporate behemoth behind the curtain. We know that is Booz Allen Hamilton. We know that they are taking a ton of money, potentially tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars, according to a recent lawsuit filed in Northern Virginia. And the Wall Street Journal breaks that down and shows that over the past four years and some change, Booz Allen has taken somewhere in the neighborhood of $140 million in reservation fees. Now those are funds that many public land users believe are going to the federal land management agencies themselves. But as we've shown here on Park Junkie and as Matt Stoller has shown, as Lindsay DeFrates has shown, and it is now the Wall Street Journal is showing, those dollars are indeed going to a for-profit corporation. And uh, that information is starting to flow. This article by National Geographic shows that uh, a lot of folks are indeed having difficult uh, difficulty obtaining reservations to their public lands. And one person in particular was denied access to his own state's Glacier National Park. That former Secretary of Interior, Ryan Zinke, who put out a tweet in the beginning of March stating that he believes the reservation system is a, quote, total scam. Now, those of you who remember Zinke will recall that he was Trump's first Secretary of Interior, and he has since went on to become an elected congressman from the Western District of Montana. So that is his district there in Glacier, and he yesterday, on April 11th, 2023, announced that he was calling for an investigation, a federal investigation into the contract between the National Park Service and rec.gov. He has further asked that officials in Glacier National Park abandoned the reservation system for 2023, which will be instituted here in the coming weeks. What the National Park Service will do in response to Zinke's uh, request is unknown at this time. Officials from the park declined to comment on that, but it looks like Zinke is running full force ahead with a federal investigation into the rec.gov contract between the land management agencies and the corporate behemoth behind the rec.gov system. You guys, this is what we're looking for. We are looking to be able to send this me uh, me message far and wide because the problem is that people do not know where that money is going. Most park users assume that because they're using a .gov website, that money goes to the parks for the betterment of park facilities, the addition of fire rings, picnic tables, and composting toilets. But we know better. We know that that money is going into the hands of a private, for-profit, multi-billion dollar corporation. So guys, this is what we need to happen. We need this information to get out. Continue doing what you're doing because something is working out there. The information is starting to flow over the dam and soon, it very well may break through the dam and it becomes public knowledge. And once it does, I don't think that many public landowners are really going to sit back and uh, accept the situation for what it is. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for doing what you do. Continue to spread this message. Continue to tell your friends, your family members, and public landowners that you know about this system. Guys, <laughs> it's starting to move forward and we really want to see this move. So thanks for what you do. I'm going to check out. Cheers. Talk to you soon.